lovely Pisces. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. Let's get straight into it. So, Angel Spirit guys, what do our lovely Pisces need to know this week? What do they need to know? Okay, ooh, okay. So the first card that came out for you was get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Are you an empath? Are you highly sensitive? Can you feel other people's energy? You go out to the shop. So like the other day I had to go shopping. I usually go first thing in the morning when it's quiet, but I couldn't get there. So I had to go later in the afternoon and it was busy and it drained my energy because I could feel everybody else's energy. And it just, I was just, I was so tired. <laughs> I come home, I was like, I need a nap, but I've got a kid, so I can't. Um, but if you feel that way, if you're highly sensitive, if you can walk into a room and feel like a good energy or a bad energy and it literally wipes you out and it drains you and you're not sure what to do with it, the most important thing to do is connect with your higher self and one way of doing that is connecting with nature. So going out and go, taking a walk, um, if you can, if it's not wet or too cold, unless you don't mind, um, walk barefoot on the grass, uh, go and sit under a tree, lean against that tree and feel that tree's energy and read a book or whatever it is that you want to do. But if you are highly sensitive, if you can feel other people's energy and it can drain you, get grounded in nature and it will help revitalize you. It will help bring up your energy levels. But if you then drink loads of coffee or you then just binge watch Bridgerton, which I actually did last weekend, um, on TV, on Netflix or anything, it's not, you're just going to get worse, it's just going to feel really uncomfortable for you, so if you have feeling of a lack of energy, if you're feeling um, that, like, just going out simply to a supermarket just drains your energy, you need to get grounded with nature, being with nature is going to help you. On the bottom of the deck, we've got fill up your well, retreat, rest, refuel. When you've gone somewhere and it's completely drained you, this is what you need to do. You need to fill up your well. What's going to make you happy? And not in, in if, if watching a movie or anything like that is, is going to fill up your well, great, that's brilliant, that's up to you. But this is more like reading a book, connecting with nature, connecting with spirit, getting outside in some fresh air. And if you don't want to go outside, open some windows and let fresh air in. Go and buy some flowers or whatever it is, just do something that's going to raise your vibration and it's going to help you heal um, and it's going to just uh, give your energy levels a boost, especially if they've been drained from other people, gossip, just people in general, really. People in general just drain you. Uh, so whatever it is, then do something to look after yourself right now, Pisces. Okay, so what does Tarot have to say for you? So we've got the hanged man in reverse. And we've also got the Two of Swords in reverse as well. Can we have one more card? Okay, that's like six. We don't want that. Okay. And we've got the Page of Wands as well. Okay, so the hanged man in reverse. So the hanged man is about you taking a step back, um, looking at things from a different perspective, uh, pressing pause to, you know, maybe you're, you're too involved in something and you're not, and you need to take a step back to look at look at the bigger picture. However, this is in reverse. So I feel that you've been held back long enough. You've been holding back. You've been taking that step back. You've been put on pause for way too long. And I feel this is now in reverse. This is a chance for you to take action, to move forward, to get grounded, to lift your vibration, to refill your energy, to do the things that you want to do. I feel that you've not been getting grounded. You've not been um, refueling your energy. You've not been... Um, raising your vibration and therefore you feel like you might be stuck in this rut and it's time to get grounded to come out of the rut and actually start taking action towards something you need to take that action towards it you need to actually move and change things in your life and whatever it's whatever is resonating with you if it's a, a, a job that you absolutely despise change it go and start looking for one that actually is resonating with you if it's the fact that you've got people in your life that are just extremely negative 
spend as little time as possible or cut them out completely, whatever's easier for you. If it's a love relationship and it's not what you really want, but you've been staying in it because it's what you feel you're meant to do, get out of it. There's always a way around it. And now is the time for you to get grounded, to connect with your inner, inner your higher self, refuel your energy, okay? Keep working on you and then take action towards the things that you really want. No more being on pause. You can't be on pause anymore, Pisces. It's time to take action. You've also got the Two of Swords in reverse as well. So the Two of Swords upright is about you making some decisions. And this could be making some tough decisions as well, as you can see that she is blindfolded here. And they're decisions that you've not wanted to make. And I feel that you're ready to make these decisions. You're going to make them. You're going to take that blindfold off. And you're going to deal with whatever comes up after it. And I don't feel with the energy here that this is going to be a... Um, that this is, this is going to be a hard thing for you to do. Once you make that decision and take that blindfold off, it's easy. It's not as bad as you think it's going to be. It's actually going to work out for the better for you. But I feel that you're, you're sick and tired of being where you are. You're sick and tired of people putting on you. And decisions need to be made. And you were putting them off because you didn't want to hurt other people's feelings. And I feel like you're kind of, you're getting over that now. You're just like, well, my feelings are more important. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I also don't want to hurt mine. And seems that I live with me 24 Seven, I've got to protect my energy first. So you're ready to make these big decisions that you need to make. Now you've got the page of wands here, which is you going for things that you want to go for. It's taking that inspired action. It's being the person that you want to be. There's a lot of ideas that you have. There's a lot of things in life that inspire you, but you're, you're, you've are you're been holding back because you don't want to upset other people. You very much people please. And I feel that once you get grounded, once you connect with your higher self, once you know when it's time for you to retreat and like uh, soul search and go within to replenish yourself, you're going to have all these ideas, all these downloads, all these different things coming into your life. So when the page of ones, when, when, and this is why you're going to take action, no more being put on pause, you're going to make that tough decision and good things are going to be coming towards you because you're going to be taking the action and the inspired action that you are being guided to take. Now on the bottom of the deck, we do have the world card. So everything's going to come into full completion for you. Things that are no longer necessary is coming to an end. The things that are necessary for you, the things that are meant for you to take you along your journey to, to, um, move you forward into the next chapter of your life. It's all coming into the full, full circle. You've got the world card here. It's going to be very happy. You're going to feel very fulfilled. Things are completing. The cycle's completing and you're getting ready to start a new chapter. Okay. Okay, so with the uh, hangman in reverse, you've got the knight of coins. Okay, can we have a clarify the two of swords in reverse, please? Clarify the two of swords in reverse. So you are, with the hangman in reverse, you are no longer going to be put on pause. You're taking yourself off. I honestly feel you're taking yourself off. Wow, queen of cups. And can we have the, clarify the page of wands? And with this knight of coins, you're showing that you are going to be moving forward. However, you don't, I don't feel you're going to be moving forward really quickly you're going to be doing it at a steady pace or so pace that is suitable for you can we clarify the page of ones please okay so yeah with so like i said they're, they're, you're going to move forward but you're not going to move forward fast and the three of ones <laughs> wow okay yeah, you're not going to be moving forward very fast with here. You are taking yourself off pause, but you're moving in a in a, a pace that feels right for you. You're doing things at your pace now. You're doing things um, that is right for you now. You're not doing it like on every on anybody else's terms. This is your terms. Sometimes you might go a little bit quicker than you did before, and sometimes you might need to slow down. But you will know what to do. But whatever whatever way it goes. The Knight of Coins here is showing that you are moving forward. You are moving towards the things that you truly want to move towards. It doesn't matter how fast or how slow. Sometimes it might go really quick and other times it might be held back a little bit. But the fact is you're going to keep moving forward. 
Now with the two of swords in reverse and the queen of cups here, this shows that you are, you have made a decision. You have made a very strong decision. And I feel that this decision that you've made, you've done, you've made it for yourself. You've made it so that you are taking care of you. You are looking after you now. You are not waiting for other people to come in and look and take care of you. You're waiting for someone else to do something so that you can do this. You took the you took the lead, you made that decision, and you done it what was best for you. The energy I'm getting here is that you need to keep doing that for yourself. Not let ego take over or think you're better than anybody else, but you need to nurture your own self. You need to take care of yourself by getting grounded, by resting when it's necessary, by um, listening to your higher self and your intuition. And you need to take care of you because I do feel, Pisces, that for some of you, you've been taking care of everybody else and you've let, you've you've just let yourself take whatever's left and by the end of the day there is nothing left you're, you're exhausted because you're an empath you're a highly, sen highly sensitive person you there is nothing left for you to give to yourself so this decision that you made was breaking away from something so that you can take care of yourself better because if you're not look after if you're not feeling good you're no good to anybody else now you've got the page of wands and you've got the three of wands as well. So the page of wands is something new is coming in. Um, and I feel the three of wands is about you changing direction. You're going to be moving towards something that you truly want in this life. It might even involve travel. If you're in a love relationship, I do feel that you might be traveling with someone um, or that you are in a long distance relationship and you travel up and down, you take it in turns. I feel that this is going to come to a point where you either have to make a decision not to keep traveling and end the relationship or I feel that you are going to have a conversation where maybe... <sighs> Not for all of you, okay? It's not for all of you. So I don't want you all to go, oh my God, so exciting. Um, because I don't think it is for all of you. But you'll have that discussion of moving in together and um, finding a place that is between where you both live. So say if you live three hours away from each other, you find a place which is an hour and a half away from each other um, so that you're close enough to your family still. But there is there is an element of travel here and it's about going into a new beginning and you're going to have this point with the inspired action. Now, with the world card, you do have the tower card. Now, I think this is absolutely brilliant. Some people are terrified of the tower card because it means things are falling apart part something bad's gonna happen but i feel here because it's underneath the world card i feel that this is a sense of completion something is about to, something is about to complete and you've got the tower card here which is showing that things might fall apart in not the nicest of ways but the fact that everything has fallen apart this decision that you made had things had to fall apart for you to rebuild you're getting ready this is completed this has completed and you're getting ready to start a new chapter because when everything falls apart you can only rebuild so you're getting ready for the new chapter of your life so let's get into the final message it's an animal spirit message for you if you like today's reading don't forget to hit that like and subscribe it really helps grow the channel and i appreciate it so much so thank you if you'd like a personal reading with me then do check out my link in the description box below to my etsy shop rm tarot you could book a reading in with me there and if you are on tiktok do go and give me a follow on tiktok again there's a link in the description box below Okay, your message from the animal spirit is the turtle. Be joyful and trusting. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust what the messages the angels are sending you. Okay, and be positive, be joyful, and know that everything's working out for me. I can breathe, I can relax, I trust my intuition. Might as well be happy while I'm here. And on the bottom of the deck, we had the camel, which is be forbearing and patient. Everything is working out exactly how it's meant to be working out in exactly the right timeline. Be patient, keep being positive, keep working towards the things you want and everything will work out for you. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Pisces. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated, then do drop it in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.